athletes took drug abuse to a level never seen before or thereafter, creating Superman in Superman's spandex. Before anyone even got on a bike, you knew they were all on drugs. I mean, look at Gustav. I think I'm getting text. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just my lawyer. Just, um, just making sure you guys are uh, keeping me in the dark on all this. He's, he's really, he's really pissed on doing. Started full gas. It was like 170 riders got shot out of a cannon all at once. That's a good thing to look for and trying to spot. Sorry, I didn't know you guys were in here. Hey, should we retake that last line? Can you, can you see me? No, it looks like we're still fine on the monitor. I mean, because the last thing I need is, is to be seen on TV talking about doping again. Did somebody just turn on another light. Oh, no, sorry, I just opened the blinds because it's so nice out. I mean, how can you not see me right now? I mean, we really can't. I mean, if you don't feel safe, we can cover you up more. Maybe throw a big jacket on that I can shake. Whatever, sure. This coat is actually really amazing. It's almost a shame you can't see it. That final day of the 1982 tour is what made me want to become a cyclist. It was like a great film. Action, romance, drugs. I was like, sign me the fuck up. A perfect backflip from Rex. Whoa. Backflips are super rare on the tour, but they do happen. I'm only saying this because I'm in the dark here. But every tour is fucked up in its own way. But any year under a microscope, you're gonna find a lot of dirt. It actually feels good to speak candidly like this without anybody even knowing it's me. Good way to get stuff off my chest. Like, I could tell you guys that, but I think in a lot of ways, Mexico is actually a better country than America. I'd also never get a rescue pet. Can't trust those dogs in cages. That's something for people to think about from this anonymous guy.